Okay, we finally got everything packed up, ready to head out to King of the Hammers today. Uh, we made a few changes to the setup and want to give you guys a walk around to show you what's new. So first thing you'll notice, we have our load bearing enclosure on top of our ATK, which is Adventure Trailer Kit. Uh, this one has a Gladiator bed on it, obviously. Uh, the things that are different that you might not have seen, so this is what we're calling a roof basket. So we've traditionally stayed away from roof racks. Uh, there's a lot of great roof racks on the market and I just didn't really want to compete with those guys, but we wanted something super low profile, uh, very sturdy, lightweight. And uh, so this is our first attempt at that. So we're just playing around in CAD, drew this up real quick and uh, pretty happy with the results. So we're gonna give it a shot over the weekend, see how it goes and uh, hopefully get some feedback from you guys and uh, maybe develop that for uh, roofs of vehicles and that type of thing. So uh, inside of our LBE, we have, uh, of course, you have to have a Blackstone uh, and a pizza oven to be a, a good overlander. So uh, we check both of those boxes. So we get extra points for that. Uh, we also have, uh, we discovered that our small folding table fits really nice beside there. So that's been a great spot for that. Uh, we have a Starlink in motion dish, which originally I bought to run credit cards and stuff at the events and uh, it'll work great for that. Plus we'll get to watch live race coverage out in Lake Bed, so that'll be nice. Uh, lots of pack out storage here. We have two of our pack out mounts on the bottom. Uh, so that makes this stuff nice and stable uh, and comes out really quick, so that's good. Uh, diesel heater here, which hopefully won't need that. It's not gonna be super cold. Um, so, yeah, so there's no rooftop tent on here, which has traditionally been how we've spec'd out our ATK trailers. Um, I wanted to try something different this time. The, the rooftop tents really changed the center of gravity on the trailers and I didn't really like the way that worked out. So what we're doing now uh, is a ground tent and this guy has another benefit. So uh, Johnson Valley where this race is at is notorious for high wind. So once you're up in the air with the rooftop tent, it becomes a, a sail when the wind blows. So with this, we'll be able to kind of put the tent inside the vehicles and use the, the Jeep and the trailer sort of as a, a windshield. And uh, it should be a lot, lot better and uh, won't feel like we're getting tossed around in a, a hurricane. So uh, we will be taking dirt bikes out there. So we've got one more to load up. Uh, and then we'll do, we'll do gas cans on the roof basket. Uh, so that'll be a nice place to put those. Uh, this is the spare that was originally on the 392. So we moved it onto the trailer to get some of the weight off the back of the vehicle. Uh, also moved the spare tire platform at the same time. Uh, and once, once we get to camp, we'll drop the trailer and then all of our sort of wheeling stuff is already in the back. So if we do have a flat, we have tire repair kit there. Uh, if it's a huge flat that we can't fix, we'll just limp back to camp and grab the spare. So no big deal there. Uh, we added a set of our drawer handles to the drawers and we did a, a matching powder coat to the Gobi paint. So that turned out pretty cool. Uh, you guys have seen all this. So four inch drawer, six inch, six inch. Uh, this is our flip and slide, uh, which works out great in this package. Uh, we also do our uh, ultra light flat slide on the top just for extra table space. Uh, two gallons of Dometic uh, jug here. Uh, plumbed into our uh, Dometic Go remote kit. Put the faucet out there and that's pretty pretty nice for the water. Uh, this one has a Manager 30 in it, so it should be all charged up there. And we'll, we'll have solar set up out there in the lake bed, so this thing will be pretty self-sufficient. Uh, even with Starlink running, the solar keeps up with it pretty well. Uh, this is a Dometic 45 liter fridge. Uh, fits perfect in the Wranglers. Uh, we keep all of our recovery gear in here, so if you do need it, it's pretty easy to get out and carry around, so no big deal there. And um, that's it, I think. So this one does have the seat delete, seat delete in it, but we haven't done anything different, so you guys have probably seen most of this before. But it does have a ton of room for storage, and then we have a toolbox strapped down over there, so it's nice and secure. Uh, the other thing we did up front, we changed out our A-pillar brackets. So before this event, we've had our, our smaller cowl accessory brackets down on the side uh, with just one set of ditch lights. Uh, so with this larger setup, we have more room for light. So up top, we have a set of Diode Dynamics SS5s, and down on the bottom, we have the SS2s. 
which is definitely more than enough light out there. So it'd be a great setup. And we don't have the noise from the, the overhead LED bar. So uh, all of that's kind of the same. We have our clear high lines on here. Uh, so those are actually going to be shipping in the next uh, next few days, actually. So pretty excited about that. So if you guys want to check out the lights, come out and see us. Uh, we'll be set up at the Overland Experience, which is about, I think, two and a half miles outside of Hammertown. And we'll be there Thursday, Friday, and uh, and Saturday. So come out and check everything out. Be glad to show it to you.